So welcome to the showcase, baby. The showcase, the showcase, righteous mind, righteous mind, is your time, is your time, to shine, to shine, to shine, to shine, the showcase. The showcase. Today we have a very special guest with us. I happened to meet her on her way to doing some performances and working on her EP. So she has gracefully accepted my offer to come up and do a short interview so without disrupting her day. Miss Jasmine, Jasmine Metzavile. Hope I said that correctly. Welcome. Jasmine Metzavile. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. No problem. Um, so to start off, we just want to know a little about you, your background. Uh, you sound like you have a little Haitian French in you a little yeah. bit. So just let our guests know what is it about you that makes you you? What is it about me that makes me? I would guess I'll say my experiences, my struggles, my accomplishments, and um, just the people around me makes me me. Okay, and this EP that's coming up, what's, what's it entitled? Um, it's titled This Is Me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I just like I said, we we saw you doing some few things. Let us know about this music video that's coming up. Well, the music video is July 18th. I won't be shooting it for my single "Sun Kiss," and um, it's definitely gonna be a beach theme. It's a summer song, so it's definitely fun bathing suits. You know, girls, guys with their. You know, it's definitely a fun video party turn up on the beach. Okay, so we gonna turn it up on the beach. Yes. All right, oh well. yes, we are. All right. So this is more. Is this like a a, a, a hangout song? This is an empowerment song. What, what is this, this whole album? This song. What is it? What can your your fans and your audience really look for in this album? Well, my EP is definitely um, it's an empowerment mixed with fun and sexy feel. But the song is definitely a, a fun song. It's just being having fun. It makes you want to dance. It's definitely summer Caribbean feel. Like you know, it's, it's definitely you want to grab a grab a you know s strawberry slushy or something and go on the okay. beach and move or something like that. So, what are your your plans moving forward with this this EP, this song? What are your goals and what's in the near future? Well, in the near future, um, definitely success because I work very hard. And for the EP, it would definitely you know I want to show the fans like who I am as a new artist, introduce myself. Because I started as a model, a lot of people don't know I do music actually. So definitely would be, um, you know, showing that you know I'm a new artist. This is who I am. This is, do you, like you know, just showing who I am in, to okay. the world. Now, how does modeling and music mix for you? Um, it mix a lot actually, because okay. every time you do a video, you modeling, or every time you had a fashion show, is music playing. So okay. it plays hand in hand. Um, modeling is definitely more of the image side of everything, like the look. That's what people see usually first, and then the music comes second. So the my look and my image goes with my music, so that's how it goes hand in hand. Will, will you be having some kind of clothing design oh, definitely, coming out with course, this yeah. album? Or? Definitely. Well, I definitely have a stylist team and a wardrobe, okay. you know, consulting company that works with me. So definitely clothing should be on the way very okay. soon. So you're very, uh, forget the word now. Diverse. Yeah, there we go. There you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I knew that's the word you were looking for. <laughs> Yes, very diverse, very like open. I like trying new things, different styles, and definitely like when people look at my music and my images, could like one song could feel this way and then another song is this way. So it's definitely very open-minded, but I still have a very you know self-empowerment lane and embracing your flaws and loving yourself and and having fun and being sexy in the process. Okay, so this is a very branded idea that you have going yes, on. Yes, I worked very hard on putting it together, made sure it made sense, and who I am as a person is who, what I'm promoting and what I'm talking about. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Um, at this moment, we're going to take a, a short break, Okay. and then we're going to have a few things going on, and 
we're going to take a brief look into the world of Jasmine. Yeah. Come back. We'll be with the showcase. See you in a minute. Thank you. How do you would like your audience to really embrace this album? Um, very good question. Well, for my EP, I definitely want them to come open, like open-minded. And it, the album is really about just, you know, realizing who you are and what you want out of life and working hard towards it. So I think anybody can relate to the album. It has fun songs, as like, you know, heartthrob um, ballads. It has, you know, something you, you want to dance to. It's a, it's a different feel for each song, and each song will make you, like, you know, look at it differently depending on who you are or where you're from. Okay. Now, tell us something. Being that we're talking about this album, tell us a little bit about your background, where you're from, and how this album, this EP, encompasses that. Of course. Well, I'm from Brooklyn, born and raised. Okay. And I definitely grew up around music and creativity and um, just a really talented family. Like all of my, you know, uncles and aunts and my parents like have talent. So I kind of grew up with that and I was went to performing art school. That played a big role because that's when I first started doing shows and, you know, cutting my clothes up and painting uh -oh. and all this stuff. Yeah, that's where <laughs> it really started from. And from there, it kind of escalated into more like respecting the craft and learning how to solo and how to you know, do makeup, and, and from there, kind of just built. Okay. Now, your last name sounds kind of French. Yeah. What is that about? Um, yes, yeah, I'm French and Haitian. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that, does that, when you talk about your parents and your family, is that the cultural aspect of how you got started, or is it just about being um, in Brooklyn? <laughs> I think both. <laughs> I think being from Brooklyn is a culture, too. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely is. It's, being from Brooklyn is definitely a different, a different feel, and yeah, definitely the culture. That song that I'm releasing, Sunkiss, is actually called Zouk music, mm -hmm. and it's like um, Haitian reggae okay. mixed with French reggae. So it's definitely that sound, which is not too popular in America. So mm -hmm. it would definitely be cool to bring that and embrace that culture as well. Okay. So, with this being said and everything laid down, how are you embracing the whole idea of singing? And acting and modeling and how are you keeping a level head? Well, I'm very, I'm very um, blessed and thankful to get the opportunity that I did get. You know, I wouldn't be here if people didn't believe in me and I didn't yeah. have the team I have or the support I have. And I'm very well grounded. Um, I always stay, try to stay true to myself and I realize it's a bigger picture. It's more than just music. Mm -hmm. I can help people. I can use my voice and, you know, you know, make somebody feel happy. If it's just one person, I did my job, you know, yeah. so it's, it's bigger, it's a bigger picture, like, you know, definitely I think it's so important when you do have a, a following and a voice that, you know, I did have, I do have that you definitely do it for a good cause and you mm. make your voice known for something positive. Now, I was listening to really how you was breaking down some of these songs you have. Mm. Would you consider this album being a, an empowerment to women? Yes, or just definitely. It okay. has the... It has some stuff for the fellas to watch out for, but no, it's a, it's empowerment for all. Like it's, it's, I have a song called Win, and it's about striving for greatness regardless of all your obstacles and anybody to break you. Because when you're working really hard, there's a lot of people that you know they try to bring you down, and it's, and you know you have to stay grounded and you have to know what you want and how hard you want it and how much you want it. So you know it's definitely so important. And how you, are you doing this as a solo thing, or do you actually have? a team together to keep all your affairs in order? Well, I am an independent artist, but I do have a team. I could not do this by myself okay. at all. I definitely have an amazing team who works really hard with me, coming up with ideas. We don't sleep. So it's definitely, I have an amazing team. Like, the, I do what I do because my team is so strong. Okay. So definitely. So it's, where exactly are we, or can we see you in the future? Your, your Facebook, your Twitter, whatever. How can people contact you real quick if they want to do social media or staying in contact well Jasmine Mativer is J-A-S-M-I-N-E-M-E-T-I-V-I-E-R and it's on all social media it's the same name okay so you definitely could check me out and I'm very fluent talking with my um followers and my fans so definitely really could just, so I can, I can text you right now yes right in, in in I do get a lot of messages but I do try <laughs> to give back to everybody I do okay okay so we don't have to feel left out because you didn't no, answer nothing. No, of course not. I mean, my fans and my supporters are so important to me. So you want one of those people that's the answers in the mail? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I contacted yeah. you last week. 
It's in the mail. It's in the mail. I told this way. I got you. I'm writing a letter back here. I'm that type of I'm not trying to be that type of artist. Okay. Definitely. So when it comes down to your influences mm. as far as modeling or mm. music, uh, is there anybody in particular other than your family that you can say really, whether it's a negative or positive perspective? Because mm. to me, even sometimes negative things can bring out positive positives yeah, in other course. people. So, sometimes the best situation comes from negative you yes. know, situations. So, you, is there anybody in the industry that you kind of like looked at and said, I got to do something? Mm. Definitely um, one of my favorite poets of all time is Maya Angelou. Yeah. Like, I like the fact that she could take words and make such a message is stronger than actual physical. You know, so she is definitely one of my influences. She's amazing. And, um... Oh, so many. Everybody influenced me for something else, but I think, you know, just hip hop culture and music in general, like all aspects of music, like, you know, whether people have different religion, different views on life and school, one thing that they will have in common is the music. Mm -hmm. You know, people like music. They like to music to take them and escape for wherever they're going through that. Even if it's just three minutes, it could, you know, definitely change a person's feel. So it's definitely... I think I think all artists, un unsigned, upcoming, they all play a p role in music and going to the next generation. So, okay, do you um plan on doing a, a in city or in town tour or concert oh, when you? Of when course, you um, I definitely got to do for New York. I'm from okay. here, so definitely I would be when um you know it's in the talk. So when it's time, okay. I'll definitely let the world know that New York City. We're gonna be performing, and we're gonna be. And hopefully, yeah. do you plan on doing this by yourself, or you do you have other uh, colleagues or individuals that you you include so everybody can get a feel for different people, or you just doing a solo act at this moment? Well, I'm I'm working on a single with another artist, okay. and um she you know she's amazing. We're doing the song together. We're um collaborating on this record, and she has a different sound, and I have a different sound. So us coming together is like a really good you know, good thing. So, yeah, it's, me and her is working on this single together and then we're branching off to do our own projects. Okay. Mm -hmm. And right now, we're going to take a short break and we're going to come back and close out of this wonderful interview. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you when we get back. Thank you. Okay. okay. That's it. Now, do we all subscribe? Five, four, three, two. Three. We'll get ready to head out for this break. Don't you go nowhere. The showcase is coming right back. That's right. Cut. Okay, now let's take way out. Ten seconds. Quarter trap. Five, four, three, two, three. Well, we want to thank Miss Jasmine for stopping by. Thank you for having me. I had such no a good problem. time with you. And um, always, it's been a pleasure to have our guest. But always, it's a pleasure to have you watch us and please you. So... Hope to see you again. Welcome to the showcase, baby. Oh. The showcase.